They're very dangerous. They, they can win a 4v5 here. Like, absolutely. Yeah, by trying to get Riven out of the fight. But that just got Vi out of the fight? Yeah. The Pan's got chunks very low on the Nasus. Did a good job of tanking up. Yeah, I mean, he did 1v4 though. So he did his job perfectly. Absolutely. Although like, Riven does uh, have to be careful, because if everyone hits her at once, she can die. Yes, she can. With every kill, I'll get Kimmy on still. That was good damage from the Ari and the Plaid. Okay, what is Malphite's build currently? The Malphite only has a Chalice and a Cloth Armor. He has 39 CS. Yeah, he's uh, actually very far behind, but... With uh, Riven so fed, like all he needs is the LT to be significant. The scary thing is he's only down 700 gold. Yeah, from the all the gold from the objectives. Like maybe not going to rotate for a dragon, and Vladimir is recalling. So I although Vayne is up in gold, Vlad's up in gold. Sona's down in gold, but yep. I mean, it happens. Really, everyone's pretty close except for jungle and mid. Mm-hmm. This game isn't a guaranteed victory yet. It's a most no, likely not. victory. But especially they, when it's only one person who's super fed, it's really easy to throw. Absolutely. If they take out Riven and potentially get an ace, like that would just change the game completely. If they get like a Baron off it or multiple turrets. You know, one thing that commonly happens is one person gets fed, so everyone on the team thinks they're fed. And then that one person yeah, dies and everyone thinks they can 4v5. Or they think they can 4v4 against the enemy team's strong players. Yeah. But there's the dragon. Pan's blowing the LT just for the constant percentage damage. Yeah, that'll go down very quick. Riffin with red buff and black cleaver. I feel like they're gonna rotate either mid or uh, bottom for a push. I don't know though. Just waiting. They're yeah, lurking. they're trying to get a catch. Oh, oh, good ward from Ed, bro. That was very fortunate. Piercing arrow, stealing the red from uh, Eclipse. Oh, he already had one, so didn't lose much. Just want to point out the sweet Lux ward. Oh, yeah. <laughs> It doesn't seem like anything's been happening that recently, though. Kimi's no, just not. been taking I, I, dragons. Yeah. I feel like they could be pressing their advantage a lot more. They're, uh... Honestly, at this point, I feel like they could just push bottom and go for a dive. If Malphite hits multiple people and, like, Riven flash Ws, like, they could just wipe them. Of course, that's a little aggressive, so I can understand why they wouldn't go for that line of action. Varus picks up his blade, so he's gonna work on probably a Last Whisper next, based on yep. his pickaxe. Like, I'd expect Riven to build defensive now, because the only way she, lo the only way their team loses is if she dies. Mhm. Mm yeah, it, it'd make a whole lot of sense for her to just pick up a GA or something. Ooh, this is a little dangerous. Oh my goodness. And they're just gonna they walk by each other and. Of... Oh my gosh, that is. Quite an unfortunate turn of events. Oh, Sona's going to get away. Uh, oh, Sona's going to get away. Yeah, and Eclipse is not dying. Nah, uh, Kimi came in. Okay, so kill for Riven. Malphite and Nasus zoning out. Bane and Vladimir in bottom, and Ari and Sona are both almost dead and retreating. Ari managed to not die though. Yeah, which is nice. Oh, they actually might get the... Oh, this is actually pretty... Mm. Edbro could have kept going on that. 
Riven got kind of low in that fight, but Bloodthirster. Not, yeah, but Bloodthirster. And uh, Malphite picks up the only kill that Riven. The 14th kill. The only one Riven doesn't have. <laughs> oh, very nice for him. And Riven just like 1v2. Okay. Under Sour. Oh, you can get it, yep. Oh. Vlad kited pretty well there. Gotta say. Yeah, Riven yeah, might be did. dead. No, she's gonna get over. Those changes to the jumps. Very nice for. Oh! Purple Team gets bottom turret. Yep, Malphite oh, rotates bottom to help bot lane. Very nice. So yeah, that was another huge victory for Kimi. Mm -hmm. They didn't lose anyone, and they got a tower and kills. Yeah, very, very big. Currently in the standings, Team 11 is 4-0, and, oh, and Kimi Don is 0-3. Oh so it's a somewhat an unexpected win in terms of just rankings. But Kimi, get Kimi Don is looking very strong right now. Eclipse is definitely caring very hard. Yeah, uh, a lot of times I think... Especially with circuits like this, where everyone has widely different skill values. Mm -hmm. The game can be really changed based on just which team sends their good players where. True. And when someone has a good get day. Like I know, True. I'm kind of inconsistent, so some games I'll carry super hard, and other games I'll require getting to mid-game before I can start carrying. Sure. And that can just stop the snowball while the enemy team snowballs another lane. Yep. It's interesting, Riven picks up a QSS. I don't know how that interacts with Vizalti. Does that interact at all? I don't think it does. Yeah, but against Charm and against uh, the, uh, Crescendo and Ignite yeah. and Exhaust. Yeah, no, it's, it's definitely nice. So, uh, nice. And against the double AP from Vlad and. Uh, it's the more Ari aggressive defensive nice. option. Yep. I feel. Yeah, Riven's kind of cool, because she benefits from resistances and damage the most, and not health. Yeah. Which is nice. And Riven's just going to take this tower. Oh, apparently uh, the QSS prevents the knockup from Vi, but Vi still goes to the person. Hmm. how it works. Thank you, Danny, for that, uh... date. Mechanics. There oh, you Riven's go. not going to take the tower. She probably could have if she blew her ult. Yeah. And she might still get it, but it's if, a little uh, greedy. Ari and Vladimir go on her. She'll just kill them um, both. Yeah, I, 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 yep. Blue team picks up bottom outer turret for them. That's their first tower of the game. Still down 10k. Pretty large deficit. But Klon back. That bro is wisely playing very uh, cautiously. <laughs> I'm waiting for the moment he throws caution to the wind. Oh. oh! I actually... I did not know that away. did that. It did. does. And I don't think that he noticed right away, so it was uh, fortunate. Mm, yeah. I feel like he did. But Maybe. he still might I'm be dead. Sure. Uh, yep. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, as soon as Eclipse got hit by the Tides of Blood, he went straight on him. And... It was a good pool. Um, Ari's like, though. look at me, I can pretend to defend. Yeah. Although, that might be enough, just because Riven doesn't want to dive into four people. Could be. Once the Sanguine pool was down for uh, Vladimir, there was nothing to prevent uh, Riven from diving at all. That was pretty unfortunate. Vi yeah, alted through the... Ooh. Good Malphite ult. Yeah, Malphite ult hits three, and that's a 4v3. Yeah, that's uh, just not good at all. And Vayne cleansed the Malphite ult, which doesn't really do much. Oh dear, this is... Yeah. Okay, what I was gonna say is that was unfortunate because Vi ulted through the tornado, which meant that his team couldn't follow up at all. Oh, I see. Which gave plenty of time for Janna to just ult and then walk away. Yeah. I should never have doubted the Janna pick. Just look at that. But yeah, this is a pretty free inhibitor. Yeah, absolutely. Like, Team 11 can't really 5v5, so they're not really gonna 3v5. <laughs> yeah, the death timers were too short. Kimi wisely backs early. off, though. They don't yeah. want to fight those double turrets yet. And yeah, fighting in the enemy base can be really tricky, especially with home guards. 
Absolutely. Like, if you can't 100 to 0 someone, they just keep fighting endlessly. Yeah, I think um, it looks like Team 11 is going for a mid push or uh, trying to force a dragon. I don't think that's going to happen, though. I'm trying to rush it while they're gone. I think they're just but trying to push out lanes, get a yeah. little bit more map control and pressure. Yep. I think, uh, I would guess that it can be Don's plan of action now is just going to let the supers push in bottom and then either force him another inhib or baron. Yeah, and I think I... the best bet for them would be to push top, because you can get the top tower, and then you can push into the base. Mm hmm And you don't lose any baron pressure, so if the enemy team backs off too much, you can just take either inhib or baron, depending on it. Yep. I do want to say though, the warding has been pretty good this game. Like, yeah, I've seen yeah, lots of wards from Team 11, and Gekimi yeah. has the aggressive pink wards. Yep. Very nice. I haven't really touched on that. So sorry, Octocutie and... Who's your sport? Side dude. Apologies. And everyone else is warding. Clips is going in for a... Uh... Not looking for the blue. It, yeah, both teams have in general been playing pretty good as in terms of just not getting caught on the map randomly. Mm -hmm. But yeah. there have been some tricky catches by Kimi on, get Kimi on. Good charm, catching him out. They're just Surprise. gonna bait Baron yeah. or take I'm surprised it. Surprised that uh, Kimi Don didn't just go. I mean, they knew Vayne was bottom. It was a five v four. I'm surprised they didn't just go more I don't think- I just think they didn't want to get kited too much. Yeah, sure. It's like, if you spend a minute trying to chase them down, what have you accomplished? Yep. Vladimir throws down his ultimate. They still have the Janna ult. Good damage down on dude. Oh, Thrilla Killer going for the steal. Goes to Nasus. And get me on. Okay. Oh. And Riven with the triple. Soon to be Quadra, it appears. Oh! Penguin pool. Yep. And that will be a game. The GGs here. are called. Yep. Yeah, that was so just... They did a really good job with that lane swapping. And they yeah. gave enough pressure to Eclipse in mid from that alone. That mm -hmm. he just carried the game. Absolutely, and he is just monstrous. But the, they also had some really good rotations, though. Like, mm -hmm. especially, now you know, Eclipse came around back in mid at one point. Yes, and they just yes, got a triple kill from good. it. Yeah, no, they, they played very well. Kimmy Don looked very strong in that game. Yeah, with a, <laughs> yeah, R Riven at the end of the game is a whole 16k, which is almost twice <laughs> everybody else in the game. She was literally twice as, had twice as much gold as anyone on Team 11. Yeah. Really did well in that lane. Yes, she did. Something that I noticed earlier in the match was uh, Ari made the choice to max the Q against the Riven as opposed to the W, mm -hmm. which I think would have been a smarter decision based on the mobility of Riven. Yeah, that's probably true. One thing to keep in mind, though, is that the Q allows you to push the wave, which normally against Riven is pretty nice. But it just didn't work out. It didn't come to fruition. Like, she just stood too close, and Riven just got some combos on her. Yep. Like, whenever I play Riven, the thing that's the toughest is when the enemy just stands in their turret range. Because, yeah, I can deal a ton of damage to them, but then I take, like, two to three turret hits, especially if they can land a charm. Mm -hmm. And then, of course, the fact that the jungler was just top lane the entire game meant that Riven didn't have to be afraid or buy wards. Yep. But, um, uh, yeah, it was just well played by Eclipse, and it can be done in general. So, let's see, the next game is at 10 p.m., which will be yep. casted Two hours. by GT, and I don't know who your co-caster is. Uh, Math it's Epic. Caster. Epic. I have so, his name. And, that, and that'll be Team 11 versus PB&J. So, we'll see if, uh... Kalio. Yep, that's and Jared Hans. Can recover. User joined your channel. But, uh, are you guys yeah. done? Yes, <laughs> okay. we are done. Uh, All right. Yeah, I didn't read the channel.